Hey everybody, welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. We are so excited to have you guys here. We have another amazing Funnel Hacking Live speaker we get to speak with today. So we're going to jump into that because I don't want to wait anymore. Let's roll that intro. <laughs> we are part of an underground group of entrepreneurs that you've probably never even heard of before. We are Funnel Hackers and these are our stories. Hey everybody, welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. I'm Susan Leonardson. This is yep. Ben Moot. <laughs> and we are here with another speaker from for FHL coming up here at the end of September. We are it's almost August. We're down to we're down to I don't know how many days, but it is got to be close to 60. <laughs> I think we're in the 60s now, if not earlier. Like it is, we're getting closer and closer to Funnel Hacking Live and it's 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 becoming a party. We're starting to throw ideas together, like where booths are going to be and where Susan and I are going to be sitting and what we're going to be doing. It's going to be fun. So good. So good. So um, we are going to be speaking with another person today who is going to be on that stage. This person is not just going to be on stage, but like she is a winner of three Two Comma Club awards in the past. She has attended Funnel Hacking Live before. She's going to tell us her, her story, um, but also this person's secret power is being able to turn haters in, on social media into like fuel in her business. So she is going to come and talk to us about that. And uh, if you guys have a guess, put it in the comments right now. We're going to bring her on. So please welcome Miranda Pierce. Hi, guys. Hello. Thank you so much for having me all the way from the other side of the Atlantic. I'm honored. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Glad to have you here. Yeah, we appreciate you coming. We know it's kind of late over there. Oh. My pleasure. It's my honor. <laughs> um, All right. So, yeah, go really, for it, Ben. <laughs> yeah, can you tell us, like, you went to Funnel Hacking Live, and we want to get to that story. But how did you like become involved with like ClickFunnels World? Like, what at what point did the ClickFunnels banner cross your your screen, or you said, you know what? That little guy, or that young guy, is popping up all over my computer. Like, what <laughs> what brought you into the ClickFunnels world? Well, my husband, Tim, who's also my business partner, he was actually in Russell's original potato gun funnel. So how many yeah. people can say that? And he always knew about this guy. He knew he was obviously a marketing legend. And then around 2019, we had a big problem in our business. We had, we own, we still do own a building where we, we run a med spa and a training school. And suddenly, well, in 2017, there was a terrible disaster in London where many people died in a tower block. So imagine like a block of flats. And the reason they died, it was found out, is because of the cladding on the side of the building was not, was no longer fit for purpose. And oh, wow. obviously that was a terrible tragedy for our country, but also it meant that the regulations changed overnight. And we got lumped with a 500,000 pounds, so I think that's about $600,000 bill for nothing. Like we don't get anything back from that. We just had to pay it. And we were hustling, like, how are we going to save our business from this terrible threat? And so we ultimately turned to funnels. And I was scouring the internet. I, I saw Russell at the growth con, you know, Grant Cardone's uh, the oh, famous yeah. speech where he made $3 million in 90 minutes. Yeah. And yeah, I was one of those dollars because I went, it was on YouTube, but I went straight to the description. I was like, sign me up immediately. And I signed up to, it wasn't to CCX. It was a coaching program with oh. Morag, who is my wonderful ClickFunnels coach. And yeah. literally I just was able to really easily start my first funnel and that was when we started doing webinars and we kind of grew from there, but we weren't that serious about it. And the moment we got serious was the moment we went to follow Hacking Live because I was like, this guy is clearly a genius. I need to follow him wherever he is. So we flew over to Nashville 2020 and it was the January just before the world closed down. And I was enthralled. It was my first Funnel Hacking Live. I just couldn't believe that there was this place of 
these entrepreneurs who are just so crazy and enthusiastic and so friendly because you know what Russell's like he creates this beautiful community doesn't he he has this gorgeous yeah. culture and so when you come to Fun Hacking Live it's just so inclusive and just gorgeous and I went home on fire I'm like oh my god this is gonna be amazing and in the airport on the way home there were people with masks and you know what that meant because just two months later the whole world shut down we had to shut our brick and mortar and that was a point where we were like right funnels are the way we have to follow everything that Russell said and thank goodness we went upon our live because we doubled down we made four million pounds in the uh, I beg your pardon one million pound in the first four months of lockdown just using what we'd learned at Funnel Hacking Live. Wow! Holy cow! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like the beginnings of turning something so negative <laughs> into something so positive, um, just in a different way than than what you're um, going to be speaking about at, on the stage. Yeah. Which is, it's amazing. I can't wait to hear that part of your story. That was, but. <laughs> that was the year that Tony Robbins actually said, like, you never know when winter is coming too. He's like, we're on the mm -hmm. precipice of winter. You just don't know. And it hit and you literally found summertime for your, for yourselves inside of, inside of winter. You created the produce, mm -hmm. you made it happen. Oh, so yes. Tell us really quick. Uh, Russell reached out to you and he asked you to speak on stage. <laughs> Why? No, he didn't reach out didn't. to me. No, he no. didn't. It was the contest. Oh, yeah, there's a story here. So, <laughs> so um, when I came back, when I was flying back from Nashville on in January 2020, I suddenly had this dream. I saw Marley Jack's Total Legend. I saw her speak <laughs> and I was like, I could do that. I want to speak on stage. And so I literally, I said told all my audience on my Instagram stories I was brave I put it out there into the world and then of course COVID hit and you know various things happened and I kind of put the dream on the sidelines but I joined Inner Circle and I kept showing up to Boise and you know speaking on stage there and doing my bit and I kept my dream going in fact check this out I just found this today oh no I don't know how good to find it now earlier I was just literally cleaning out my to-do lists and I found this to-do list and it literally says on it, pitch Russell. So this is this year, I can't find it now. This year we went to Mexico as part of Inner Circle. And I am the whole time thinking, I want to pitch Russell. I want to pitch him. I want to speak about how to overcome haters because that's my specialty and get loads of free traffic and loads of, you know, fill your funnels with the blood of your haters. But I didn't do it. So I'm on the way to Chichen Itza, you know, the seventh wonder of the world, like, because we yeah. came with our family to Mexico and I'm like writing down my pitch, but I never actually did it. And then a few weeks later, Russell asked for speaker pitches on Instagram. And I was like, <sighs> right, I'm ready. Let's do this. And I literally a couple of days later, I submitted my pitch and the rest is history. Amazing. Oh so gosh. it was going to work out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't um, have worked out if I hadn't been ready, you know, manifesting it. I so love then, that. okay. So if you had had opportunity to, for everybody who knows, like when Russell pitched that everyone is able to vote it up and uh, you were on the voting list for people that they were able to vote up. The question is, what was your pitch? Mm, <laughs> so my pitch, which I think is an amazing hook is... <laughs> how to fill your funnels with the blood of your enemies because <laughs> so many the two components to it really number one is can we all please stop holding ourselves back from putting ourselves out there because we fear the criticism this is the biggest problem really and i do believe this is why russell has got me speaking it's probably less about the traffic and more about helping funnel hackers to overcome just get out of their own way and stop worrying about what their old school friend will say that they're money grabbing or stop worrying that their great auntie jean said that you know oh it's a bit salesy what you're doing whatever judgment you're worried about you are not you are holding yourself back like mark my words it's happening whether it's conscious or subconscious and so i have had so much hate because I work in aesthetics, so um, which is kind of Botox and filler and all that world. And so people think that they can talk about my face a lot. And in November 2020, I my colleague uh, messaged me on Teams and he said, Miranda, you've had some hate on a closed Facebook group, but this one is awful. It's super personal. It's just not 
something that you should look at. Just know it's going on, but don't look at the detail. I was like, show me that, show me that screenshot immediately. And someone had basically said I was ugly and something just snapped inside me. I'd previously been a people pleaser, but I'm like, no, 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 this is not happening. And I went just a full out. I literally made like a mini dramatic demonstration out of it. I I, I did content, like there was this whole drama going on in our industry. I did like Facebook lives announcing in the end, the woman apologized, it was this whole thing. And meanwhile, the whole time my audience are loving on me more because they're on my side. So it builds these beautiful bonds. And the co- and I'm gonna show the audience at Funnel Hacking Live how to do like that. What content can they create that's gonna get all this engagement, all this traffic? Because at the moment, it's like the Armageddon of reach on social media, on organic. You know, we're just all struggling to get that reach. So let's make some content that has inherent story built into it that's very grabby, very, you know, attention. You know, everyone's everyone's got their popcorn and like watching what's going on when you're battling a hater. So I want to show the funnel hackers how to do that. That's amazing. Um, in your description on the Funnel Hacking Live site, um, it even says, uh, let me pull that up. Um, Trolls are a universal and ready-made source of enemies to throw rocks at. <laughs> and I don't know if those are your words or whoever put that on the site, but I was just like, oh my gosh, that's, those are your words. Okay. Um, Cause we are like, that's part of frameworks, right? That's part of the Russell, one of Russell's frameworks is like, you got to throw rocks at something. And I, it's, it's hilarious to me and, and amazing that you made it work of like, just turn the negative things that people are saying about you and your business into the things that you're throwing rocks at, uh, because that's exactly. creating the polarity that's needed to create buzz. Yeah, exactly. Well, I and I think it, go on. Please, please. No, 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 no. It's not my job to say, speak over you. I was just going to say that Russell's framework, it's awesome. And when I first read that in Expert Secrets, it made so much intuitive sense to me. But I didn't know who my enemies were, honestly. And I think sometimes it can be hard when you're starting out with funnels to know you don't want to be negative. You know, you don't want to fabricate. You don't want to just make up some enemies. But everyone hates haters. And when they see you stepping up and actually battling them, staring them down, doing something about it, then the people who are ultimately going to buy from you, they're like, you go on, sister, like you go for it, because they they feel that you are taking one for the team. And they feel like that we as a community are, are stronger as a result. So have you found like there's a specific formula or way to be able to do this right? So that way you're building your business without, you know, trash talking and causing the, you know, feeding the monster. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you raised that because I actually, um, I'm obviously not completely finished my speech. And I, one of the things I actually wrote down today is I need to understand your objections. Like what are in the people in the audience, what are they thinking? Oh, I don't want to do that because. And so I would say that the way I, there, there are different levels that you can respond to haters. The first thing is to say that you really should respond. So this is not about making content out of it. It's literally about not deleting all your negative comments on so for example ads there's a whole thing at the moment with you're putting money behind ads if you get a hater you are throwing money down the drain if you're just going to delete it now assuming that you're in your integrity and they aren't criticizing you for something that actually you know you are doing wrong then why not just reply it feeds the algorithm even with paid paid what there's an algorithm going on there they want the more engagement the cheaper your ad will be and so you should absolutely respond and I have a four-step formula which I'll which I'll share about how to respond but then in terms of actually making content out of that you can be as classy as you want right through to completely dragging them I um just before Mexico I actually did my first drag where I there was a guy who um I won't use a swear word, but just think of the worst thing that you can possibly call a woman. Okay, just pitch that in your mind. There's various different names for it, but you can imagine. And in 2021, I was at Funnel Hacking Live. I just, I beg your pardon, 2022. I just picked up our second 
two comma club and I've just yesterday in the mail our third two comma club came through but I'd gone and actually picked that up on the first time with uh, on stage with Russell and Todd because we weren't allowed into the country in 2021 for obvious reasons so I'm loving it I'm walking down the corridors at the Gaylord I'm just like loving life got my outfit on feeling like you know amazing and I had a cheeky look at my phone and this chap had called me he said who it was on a paid ad I don't know who you think you're fooling Miranda you're just an ordinary and then insert that word that's the worst word you can call a woman and this was hilarious to me it's like so I'm or I mean the juxtaposition is just weird anyway but also like I'm ordinary I don't think so like I'm just I've just won an award from actual Russell Brunson for be for making a million dollars and so with him I went on his Facebook and I found out, I found pictures of him. I didn't use his name. And then I just made a funny reel out of it. But that's unusual for me. Normally I will literally anonymize their, their name, do screenshots, and then I'll just throw it up on a green screen and do a commentary. Because don't forget that your audience don't agree with the hater. In fact, the hater is disrespecting them as well as you. Mm. This is the crucial Thing that's so powerful about this is content is that by you defending yourself making content out of it you are also defending them and everyone loves to have their honor defended but you can be classy about it there's it's, it's so cool because like russell teaches the dramatic demonstration right that's his, that's a new part of the linchpin it's beautiful it's amazing you heard about it in mexico a little bit deeper than everyone else like there's so much coming at funnel hacking live that if you don't have your ticket you need to get it um, but you're literally taking this one piece of, of this idea and making it an entire dramatic demonstration. Like you can make this a full spectrum story. You can have those different pieces. You can grab as much attention to this as you possibly want. Uh, so you can, you can milk that cow for all it's worth. That is Absolutely. Not... And I think we, who are we as marketeers if we don't have the dramatic demonstration muscle? Because to me, when, when Russell, I first heard about that actually in, I think it was at Fun Hacking Live, not Mexico. It was when Steve, you know, Steve Larson went up and he talked about yeah. um, the circus guy, um, P.T. Barnum, Barnum and Queen Victoria. And it massively resonated with me because I believe like I came out of the womb as a marketeer. Like I, I, I want to tell stories but I want to cause change in my audience. And how can I do that if I haven't raised their emotions? So this is why throwing rocks at the enemies is so powerful because we're saying like, are you, are you with me? Like, do you wanna come? I'll be the leader. Like I'll take them, uh, you know, I'll take the main, the, the battles that come back at me, but let's do this together. Story, connection, it's true marketing at its heart. So yeah, I love a dramatic demonstration. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to hear more. <laughs> You've given us like just a little bit here, but like the stage when you're presenting this whole idea and giving the framework and the, how you do it. And I'm sure you're going to show examples and whatever. Like I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome to see, um, to see this come together. Um, so guys, if you do not have your funnel hacking live ticket yet, you have to go get it. Um, this is, Gosh, I don't even know where we're at with seats available, but I know that they're going to sell out because they sell out every single year and you need to get it now. Also, like the, the room blocks are about sold out, right? So there yeah. is some like yep. real urgency happening where if you, you want to be able to stay at the hotel where the event is taking place, because if you don't, you're going to miss out on so much um, connections, conversations. Uh, you never know what you're, what's going to happen in those, in those bits of time when you would be traveling to an Airbnb, but you're not because you're there in the hotel. It's going to be amazing. Um, should we run down what, what, uh, what all they're getting? Yeah. Tell yeah. Let's, let's, let's go through everything that they're offering. So when you guys get your ticket to funnel hacking live, Russell's already put together a spectacular stack. You already get your ticket for the four day event, which is unheard of. There's no experience like it. This is the rock concert for entrepreneurs. Barry has said it beautifully several times. You can get a whole bunch of swag. Russell loads you up. Like if you guys are traveling internationally, like Miranda does, you're, you're going to have your back is full on the way back. So just expect to pack less uh, on the way. So that way you have more you can take back. Um, you've got an AI integration that's inside ClickFunnels, which is awesome. You get uh, bonuses from the inner circle. And Russell initially 
talked about this and introduced Funnel Hiking Live and what the lineup is going to be. Um, he gave or his inner circle popped in and they gave a whole bunch of bonuses. There's a whole bunch in there, guys. It's absolutely ridiculous. And some of those are worth the 997 all by themselves. And then you go through Funnel Hacking Live 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Each of these are an experience that have massively changed lives that you can relive and you can have access to instantly when you get your ticket. Uh, it is unbelievable. Plus there's a whole bunch of speaker bonuses that have been thrown in there. And so if you don't have your tickets yet, definitely go and get your ticket because it's valuable. Can I just put my two cents in? Because I um, I am, you guys watching this here now, like we came in 2020. It was a massive gamble to come. Like a few of us in the team, about five of us went, you know, imagine all the flights and everything from the UK. And I remember saying to my finance director, like, please, it's going to be, it's going to be so good, but it was a leap of faith. And I think often when someone's thinking about making a big investment, it's hard to really know whether you'll get it back. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you will get it back a thousand fold. All you have to do is come with an open mind with a book and then implement when you get back home. And it is the key to the future. Like it's as simple as that. I was devastated when I couldn't come in 2021. When I came in 2022 as well, I was just pumped up all over again that immersion being around if you have anyone negative in your life people who aren't supporting you maybe even a partner this is just like taking a bath of positivity with everyone around you is pushing you on sharing ideas it's completely no holds barred you get so many ideas that come and we've even got so many suppliers from fun hacking alive as well you know people who help us with our email marketing and it's just endless so Please, 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 if you know what's good for you, you will come to Fun Hacking Live. It is the best thing ever, 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 ever. And I actually uh, threw in my own speaker bonus as well. If you're interested in what I've been saying about improving your social media, if you're worried because Adam Masseri and Zuckerberg have taken away all your reach recently, you used to get loads of lovely views on your reels and now you're getting none, then I have created a 22-page PDF dedicated to this is literally it's proven. I am giving you all of my top performing posts, but dedicated to you in a way that you could actually use. So, it, and I'm explaining why, why, if you ever thought to yourself, you're on TikTok and you're like, why has that gone viral? I don't understand. Like none of my stuff goes viral. Then this is the formula. I'm giving it to you for free because I want you to turn up ready at Bottle Hacking Live, pumped so that you're ready to go and you are, you believe in the process. So take that, enjoy it. And let me know, tag me when you when you use the formulas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. And it's okay. So I took a peek at it uh, before we jumped on and it's like, it's illustrative. So like you take out like one of these seven and you like show like each little piece, like this is what did this. This is how you do this one little thing. It's beautifully written. It's well organized and it's simple enough to be able to implement just right off the bat. It's, it's absolutely a beautiful resource. Thank you so much. Like yeah, for everyone who... Awesome. If you guys have a ticket to Funnel Hacking Live, it's in the membership area. Um, if you guys do not have a ticket and you want access to it, it will be inside of the membership area waiting for you. Your job right now is to go to FunnelHackingLive.com and grab that ticket. And for those of you who are like, you know what? You don't know my situation. Um, Miranda has brought this up before. Every time, it doesn't matter if you have one year two comic club board, your two comic club X, your two comic club C, and you're at the pinnacle of height, or you're now at the lowest point of that. And we all know the higher you go, the more risk you take on and the lower your lows can be. This is a new level, new devil community opportunity where you're able to take on every level uh, with this community and have those insights and those support and the networking and all of it is available for you. Doesn't matter what devil it is you're facing or what opportunity is sitting in front of you that you may not see, Funnel Hacking Live turns on the lights and it's going to change the world. And I cannot wait to hear your, your speech, Miranda. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. All right. We will be back with more Funnel Hacking Live speakers coming up the rest of this week. We appreciate you guys tuning in and go get your Funnel Hacking Live ticket. GoGetHackingLive.com. We'll see you guys later. There are so many people walking around who don't know that they can change the world. You were born to do something great with your life. 
as an entrepreneur, you're going to have painful experiences. But all pain is temporary. And if you can survive it, you will meet another version of yourself. I was just numb. We were racking up credit cards. We stopped paying for our house. We literally were selling furniture out of our home. I felt trapped and exhausted by my life and I couldn't see a way out. I felt like a shell of who I was made to be. In life, you were most capable of helping the person you used to be. If you used to be broke, you can help broke people. If you used to be broken, you can help broken people. It starts with you. You hear the call, and you feel it. It's beating, it's pulsing, I'm made for something more. We get scared. And then fear hits us. The little voices in the back of our head. I'm not ready, I'm not worthy driven say no i'm gonna do it the driven are you guys here today more people are finding their breaking point and waking up i have a calling yesterday i realized i have to do this there's a soul here at click funnels i felt like i had gone through the wardrobe of the chronicles of narnia and i was just like what is this magical place that makes billionaires I'm going to show you the magic trick that's made me all of my money. My best-selling framework. You have to start out closing if you're going to end up 82% closing. 82% of customers trust influencers. This better blow your mind and allow you to predict the future. People need aliveness and meaning again. Who do you want to become? What do you want to felt and experience in this one precious life? You wouldn't be able to tell, but I ran the New York Marathon when I was 19. Life happened and my mom passed away. One of my daughters had a traumatic brain injury, wasn't expected to live. When you meet somebody that continues to push through adversity, that is the definition of an entrepreneur. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna sponsor you through this journey because everybody deserves an opportunity. What you do with it is up to you. Feel a sense of belonging here. It feels like home. It's so encouraging because if they can do it, so can I. It starts with saying, hey, next year we're going to get better. Russell has a way of teaching that makes success faster. In my opinion, he's the best marketer I've ever lived. You will find exactly what your business is missing. It's going to amplify every campaign you do. If you've been thinking there has to be a better way to do this than what you're being told, I'm here to tell you you're right. People might say you're too young or you're too old or your body is not right or you didn't go to the right school. Then one day, they're telling people how they met you. Oh, I can lie, changed my entire life. Because now I know what I'm going to do next. Your family is going to be blessed. Your legacy is going to be blessed. Movements are about to be burned. My story hopefully gave women permission. You do not have to be great to get started, but you have got to start if you ever want to be great.